you look back, what is the biggest mistake she's made? Family, their father Robert Maxwell came from nothing. You know, his family were uh, in the in the uh, uh, Jewish camps. You know, during the and that is documented, isn't it? Victims don't feel safe and feel. Um, brave enough to speak up at the time because in some cases they don't realise they're being groomed. What makes you so sure of her innocence? And what do you make of Virginia Giuffre's allegations? I there is a photograph, of course. Which you've seen. never been... St that well, photograph... In the background of that okay. photograph, smiling. Got very emotional. He broke down and started crying at one point because he was... We start off by, it was a, it's a long interview and you've seen a little bit of it there, but we start off by just going through what it was like when they were growing up. This is a, a notorious, this absolute magnate in, in the industry of journalism and, and broadcasting. And actually they'd suffered a lot of tragedy as they were younger. Their, uh, their older brother, when he was 15, Michael, had been killed in a car crash just about three or four days prior to Ghislaine being born. About that, he then described how Basically, Ghislaine, for the first three or four years of her life, was completely ignored by both parents because they were grieving for their son oh. who had died in a car crash. They'd also lost their nine children. They, they'd lost another child to leukaemia. So he was kind of painting a picture of, you know, this idea that when Ghislaine was like three, she stood in front of a mum and said, I exist. Mm three years old. I mean, kind of an extraordinary story from the beginning. Yeah, but what's Ian's purpose here? I mean, yesterday, there yeah. is an attempt, isn't there, to paint... Well, there's certainly an attempt, I think, from the family, and this is what Ian was saying, and it was at that point when he started crying, he was going, you know, they've put her in shackles, you know, to come to a hearing before she's even been convicted. You know, he was saying that in America, certainly, he feels that she's being consistently put forward as though she's already guilty. Mm -hmm. And I think that's his argument, is that... You know, he absolutely believes she is totally innocent of everything, even though she was in a relationship with Epstein, even though she is named time and time again. Of course, there are four victims. One of them is British. Uh, we, she's unnamed at the moment. She says she was recruited in London as a sex slave. Can I say that at this time of the morning? You know, that the, she is being portrayed as though she's already guilty by association. Mm. Epstein died in prison. You've got to be careful what you say, because obviously it's the story is he committed suicide. Many people believe he was murdered. And many people we've tried to speak to for the uh, documentary, I can tell you, one minute they're agreeing, it's all agreed. The next minute, as we're about to do it, they pull out. Mm. There's a lot of people who are very scared mm. about talking about Epstein and Maxwell because of their connections. I mean, these people, presidents, top judges, mm. I mean, so many people. You know, when you think about the handful of people who run the world, well, they all knew mm. Epstein and Maxwell. It does make you wonder, doesn't it, Rambe, though, all this focus, all the focus on the trial and everything, shouldn't they be the centre of the story? Rather and it's than really fascinating because the one of the point that Ian makes, and I'm just here to tell you what he's been saying, essentially, and, and I'll show you a little clip of this, actually, is that he says that it was prejudicial already because a judge has said that the girls, the women who are in this trial accusing, they shouldn't, they should now be called victims and not accusers. And he's saying they can only be victims if something has happened to them that's been proven. Now the judge, of course, and he sort of rails against, not rails, that's wrong. He says, Ghislaine has been swept up in two things. One, the Me Too movement, that there is an enormous desire to convict when obviously, uniquely he says Epstein's dead, all the anger um, is that now would have been, yeah, yeah, that would have been, been, been should have been to him, him. is now yeah. on her. Let's just listen to a little clip. This is um, a clip where we talk about uh, the allegations and about why he thinks that they've come up now and not years and years ago in the 90s when he believes, you know, that this is when these victims are saying something happened to them. You do wonder with this kind of talk... And Ian, so Tooth, Ian would say there's been sort of 28 million dollars put up as bail and it's been rejected four times they believe that she is a flight risk he says when she was that when there was this whole fbi search for her epstein died nobody could find her she was in her house in new hampshire in america he says she wasn't hiding she was just retreating there and if and she has dual citizenship she could have gone to france but they had decoys that she had i mean there is all the thing with this story is that there is so much extraordinary sort of, because the money is so huge. You know, Ghislaine says that, you know, and, and Ian says, look, you know, she, she, she's struggling for money. Well, she's somehow found between friends, 28 million pounds. Now, if, if that was any of us, you, you mentioned uh, all uh, the connections and they're going to be dragged into, of Ghislaine, Prince Andrew, 
and Virginia Giuffre. What does Ian say about that? Um, should we have a little look, actually? I think we, this might be the little clip that we've got. That stairwell, he recognises the door. That's definitely Gillen's house in London. Um, and, of course, that is the issue for Prince yeah. Andrew, is that, you know, this case, we don't know what those four victims are going to say. Only one who told me a very strong story that was extremely distressing to the girl who was telling me about it, mm. um, in which Prince Andrew was mentioned. Mm. So I can't say too much because, of course, there's a, the trial is ongoing. Mm. Um, it'll That's start why the integrity event. of the court process is so important. It's very... In the yeah. They did. And, and what Ian's family and everybody is saying is that it was, it was Epstein. Epstein's dead. And, of course, the, when I say to him, what's the point, what is in it for victims if, or accusers, he would rather me call yeah. them, you know, in this, in going after Ghislaine, and he, he, you know, says, well, there's a, you know, £500 million estate, Epstein's there, there's hundreds of women who apparently have already settled and got money, there's lawyers involved, it's a business, you know, it's essentially a business of what, getting... What, they're financially motivated? Partly that their anger about what genuinely happened to them it's has been, been transferred, transferred to yeah. Ghislaine. And I think that they have... Well. Yeah, I mean, I, if whatever the trial outcome is, if she's found guilty, I'm sure the family will appeal immediately. So I think this is a long-term game for them in terms personally, as opposed to what we might have heard and read about. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously as there's... the monster, yeah. as he would say. There's, a, there's a huge campaign, of course, reinterpret how There is, viewed. but interestingly, even Ian says there are loads of supporters who still won't come forward and say we're friends and we yeah. support... Let's hope they find some jurors. Objective. Yeah. Ian would agree with you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a huge case, isn't it? And, um, I, you know, I don't think anyone doubts horrific things happen. No. The question is... Absolutely. And there's a trial, six-week trial, and we're not there. You know, the, the, the jurors will be the ones to decide. Yeah. So we're just in a process of trying to learn more about her as yeah. a person, really, yeah. not about her necessarily guilt. Cause when... The victims had... A terrible, terrible yeah, time. There's going to be as limited. Well. Rambe, thanks Thank very you. much indeed. No. Well, the trial is uh, due to start on November the 29th. I think it's listed for six weeks. Of course, Christmas is in the way. So we're still thinking maybe February, possibly. So I'll as be... soon as the verdict comes in. As soon in, as the verdict comes in, there. Yeah. goes on air. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Looks All right, really Rambe. Good. Great stuff. Looks Thank really you. How do we know? Yeah. And I'm sure she's having a terrible, terrible time in prison, but. The victims had a terrible, terrible yeah. time as There's going to be limited well. sympathy for her, yeah. All right, Ranveer, thanks Thank very you. much.